messenger. Behind the I direct. was looking for a messy. <laughs> yes, mommy. So, uh huh. Go this ahead. Speed date, it was divine because wow. even before we came to the camp, I had a dream and I saw WMG Camp 2017. Okay. So, usually before we go to the camp, I will pray into the camp. Okay. You know? So when I saw it, I thought um, uh, maybe the enemy wanted to distract the camp or okay. something. So I started praying into the camp that God should give us a successful camp and wow. all that. Little did I know there was something that God has given you that yeah. day for me to meet wow. my husband. I'm, wow. I'm still, sometimes I think about it and I'm like, wow, through the oil and the grace of God upon mommy, I just met my husband on a silver platter. Yes, so that I day, after the speed date, when you started talking, what did you talk about that day? Mommy, this mm. man. <laughs> he, he also put me off at a point in time. <laughs> he will be calling me prayer, prayer. I said, uh, I know I want somebody who is prayerful, prayerful I but <laughs> I love to pray. Oh, with this one, it was a journey every day prayer. <laughs> no, day prayer. Uh, first, before that one, I'm talking before about the first, first day. Meeting. The first day. Yes, after you, you know, you went round and we finished. We didn't talk about anything much. Okay. I was like, oh, I'm going back to the hall. Okay. And then he too said he's going there. So we just you went walked. and... Yeah. Do you remember what Mommy, you spoke I about? I what happened. Ice! When I was, when I left the tent mm -hmm. and I was going, I wanted to... You know, we were all fasting. Okay. Uh, not all. Some okay. of us were fasting. And those who came fasting yes. met their wives. Is, uh, I remember past, yes. um, at the, at the head door was eating wache. Eating! <laughs> at the back of the tent. So he definitely wasn't fasting. Go ahead. So I wanted to break my fast okay. with uh, some fruits. So I got to the banana vendor. Mm -hmm. And then, so lo and behold, I met. Hey, again uh, there. Just passing by. So I engaged there. I said, oh, just wait for me. Let me buy this uh, banana so we go. So from there, we struck a conversation. Okay. It was on church. Okay. okay so how is uh, actually but you, what assembly. you actually do? You mm -hmm. know, uh, the questions I asked, I, I have decided to go into detail okay. to know more. Okay. Interestingly, when we got to her, um, her, hall. her hall, in front of her hall, then I met... Um, Pastor uh, Gertrude Nyavi, okay. who was their president. president by then, okay. and a very good friend and sister of mine. Okay. And so when we got there, then she mentioned her name. Mercy, where were you? And I said, ah, so do you know her? He said, oh, that's my goddaughter, or like my daughter I'm raising. Mm, yeah. And I said, really? First confirmation. Wow. <laughs> First confirmation. <laughs> Mommy. That was it. So in the evening, I called to check up on her. Oh, so you have taken her number? Oh, mommy. During no. the speed date. You see, when Pastor Papa said, oh, you wait, uh, give me the, the contact and everything, I said, I will be the voice of Mama Rita. But where <laughs> it has gotten to, <laughs> you don't need any prophet to tell you that take the bull by the horn. Hey. Wow. I took her number. So that evening. So where did you take her number? Just when we were going to Okay. The, uh, to the hall. Okay. So, so not during the speed. Not at all. No. So no. after we had finished, yes, mm -hmm. after we had day. finished. That's great. Mm -hmm. So I picked her number and then, so in the evening, I found out whether uh, she has eaten and everything. Hey! Yes, at least. <laughs> Even though uh, I wasn't... If I Pastor was Chief, I that day, position. you didn't ask your wife if she had eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed to know how oh, you knew she, she was, was fasting. <laughs> how she was very And so that was when I realized that we could talk okay. for long. Oh, yes, wow. Yes, I realized we could talk for long. Wow. And so I called her. You know, mommy, interestingly, something happened on Sunday morning. She, during the camp? During the camp. Yes. She called me early in the morning. Second confirmation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when she called, she said, I had a dream. And I was like, hey, are they? She's have even I forgotten. <laughs> have I become uh, I'm, I'm the Joseph the of our dream. time? She said, I had a dream. And I said, okay, so what's the dream? She said, um, in the camp meeting, she had a dream that uh, they were to go to the washroom. Okay. To the bath and prepare for. Then she met you. Okay. And so yes, it's true. you gave her your sponge, your sponge. Yes. to bath with. And so while, was she, was, while yeah. she was saying this thing, I was saying, Holy Spirit, you know, said, me, 
I have no idea of this dream, mm -hmm. but vindicate me. Okay. Because if I'm able to tell her the meaning, a revelation <laughs> out of this dream, yes! I would have sealed the thing. So you gave her so revelation. I told God, God, give me the revelation. And the Lord said, the sponge Mama Rita gave you, Mommy was cleaning a lot of things out of your system wow. and preparing you as a bride. Wow. To whoever you are going to uh, be with and whatever service the Lord wants to use you for. Wow. This was the information I gave to her. And I realized that it sat well with her. Wow. And she felt okay. And I knew in my spirit that, oh, wow. I got in a good catch. So now, after the camp, how was it like? Did you start talking? Did you? Uh -huh. Just before we go mm -hmm. after the camp, um, I don't know if Mercy or Prince will ask. During the 2018 testimony you shared, mm -hmm. you spoke about something that happened at the altar that night yes, when you yes. came wow. back. I, I, I hope we have the clip yeah. to yeah, show we'll, it. We'll, 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 it's we'll there. It mm -hmm. when, during the conversation, mm -hmm. I also asked her a prayer topic mm -hmm. while she's in camp, mm -hmm. and she told me that she she just want to know god okay that's that's her prayer topic and at the time i was coming to camp i had no prayer topic okay so apparently during the 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 sunday service service mm -hmm. the closing service uh in worship i've never cried in worship before oh, wow so in worship the holy spirit whispered to me son can you pray the prayer of mercy so i was like wow what do you mean more. So that I will know you more. Immediately I said the prayer, I broke down in tears. Mm. I wept that day. So after the, the whole session, um, camp was officially closed. Okay. And so as, as, um, as a, a culture of royal house, mm -hmm. every son and daughter would want to go back to the altar. Okay. And sow a seed, okay. engage the seed, Good. and make certain declarations Good. to the altar. Good. Because the altar of royal house, mommy, is potent. It's yeah. potent. Very, very potent. It speaks for us. It speaks. So wherever you are hearing us from, you are listening on whatever network, there is an altar that speaks. Mm. It speaks fire. It speaks blessings, oh, wow. it speaks glory. Wow. Just connect to the altar of her wow. father and you ne your life will never be the same. Mm. So she was on the, at the other side mm. on the altar and I've also taken my people to, uh, people to the altar. Mm. So after praying, yeah, you are speaking said, like a teacher. Yes. <laughs> we are taking his pupils. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are hearing you, go and meet them. <laughs> and so I, I, the Holy Spirit said, raise your head. So when I raised my head, I saw her at the other side. Okay. I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the Holy Spirit just gives you promptings, mm -hmm. but he allows your human personality to do the action. Okay. So I went over to her. She was on the altar. I just carried her. I didn't say a word. I just picked her from the altar, brought her back to where I was. I was. And then we knelt there. And you when started praying. Wow. One single, one prayer. I said, God, bless this friendship. That was the end. Also, that's the, the prayer you said. Wow. Also, and God has been faithful to His word. Wow. And God has been faithful. Mommy, wow. What transpired after that? It was as if the world was pushing us. I remembered in December. Pastor Prince. Yes, sir. Hold it. After the you, camp, you see the way I'm red. looking at him. <laughs> Pastor Prince, hold it. <laughs> Mercy. Yes, yeah. How was courtship like? You okay. met in, um, in, is July. It in July. Yes. yes, and he proposed in August. You met in July. <laughs> <laughs> he proposed in August. 27. Uh, Akramo. Akramo. Yes. Mommy, he many, has... many people thought <laughs> pastors, men of God, are not romantic. Tell they them. should come and ask. They should come and ask. Yes. Oh, they Tell should them. come and ask. They should ask our wife. I, I give her uh, a public. Uh, display of display affection. Of affection. Oh, we are doing it. We know the name. What are you oh, talking about? I Tell me, what did you do? <laughs> oh, I'm 27. So after then, we had been engaging, talking, talking. and 
And I said, no, we cannot be talking on the phone. Let's go out. Let's go out. So I've taken her out for about six times. Wow, within yes, the month. Within the month. Pastor Chief, are you hearing? I, made time. I don't know how many yeah. times you've taken your wife oh, out. Do it, do it. Ah. Oh, okay. And mommy. In, uh, South Africa. Ah. <laughs> where your treasure is, that is wow. where your heart will be. Wow. And so I decided, I was so busy though, but I decided to make time. Okay. To be able to have a um, uh, developed friendship mm -hmm. with her, know her okay. better. And so we had been to Accra Mall, we've been to. Um, Achimota um, Forest. Hmm. Mommy, let me tell you about this one. <laughs> Beautiful experience at Achimota Forest. I I asked her to accompany me there. I just want us to let's let, let's finish the Akramo one, and then yeah. we'll come to yeah. Achimota. Okay, so the Achimota mm -hmm. was part before we oh, came to okay. Akramo. Okay. Before oh, okay. the final proposal. Oh, okay. And mm -hmm. so we went to Achimota one. Uh, I think it was a Saturday. Atmota Garden. Yes. Yeah. So we found yeah, a, a forest, guy, yeah. forest for ourselves, a nice place for ourselves. And so I asked that we should just begin to pray in the Holy Spirit. And, and so we were praying. Mommy, we were walking side by side. Mm -hmm. You know, we were going and coming. At a point in time, I was walking faster. Mm -hmm. And so it gave me an opportunity to have an overview of her. Okay. Mommy, for the first time, that was when I saw her structure. I'm telling you, mommy. So you, you have never. I you, have never seen her. I go out with her, but I've not. You, you were time. looking at the no, no, no. There was something I was yeah. looking out for, and nurturing, not the physical, because the physical, yeah, we can we can help build it. Wow. But it was not about the physical, mommy. When we were. I got confused by the fact. Nice. Mm. When I saw the Coca-Cola ship. You started praying on fire. I, st I, so, so I started saying, Holy Spirit, Holy help, Holy Spirit help, help me. Help me. Oh, Holy Spirit, <laughs> help me. <laughs> Mommy, I didn't even know what it was. So she was confused. At the back, me, I was just concentrating oh. on and the hearing prayer. Holy, yeah. you were yeah. praying so your prayer. I was prayer. hearing at my back, Holy Spirit, Please help me. Five Holy, minutes. I said, ah, no, what's stop. going what is on? Happening to so this it was man? later, I turned my back, I realized Where, that. Were you lasting? Not uh, so mom, I wasn't lasting. So why should Holy <laughs> Mommy, what what I saw it was like what wow. God is that was presenting to me is it's beyond mm. my expectation. Mm. And I see God has He knows my taste mm -hmm. and knows what to grab hey. onto me. You know, so mommy, that day I got confused. Wow. Holy Ghost, help me. Oh Jesus, thank you. Mommy, thank you. Mommy, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'll never wow. have this experience. Wow. I've never been to that Chimota Forest before. I didn't know why I wanted to go there with her. Apostle General and I, we started our question so, from there. Okay. Ah, all right. We so, started we, now. We, we went now there the twice. <laughs> we went wow. there twice. So from Achimota, yeah. then to the mall. So yeah. I think God wanted to confirm to me okay. my specs. Okay. So when I saw her, now I became confident that I can go ahead. Oh, wow. So one Sunday, 27th of August. Ice! After my birthday. Uh, she had her birthday on the 9th. Okay. And so I, we just did something small for her. I took her out, did something small with her, and then we returned. But usually when we go there, we talk, mommy. I, I realize we can blend. Oh, we wow. We can talk. And as it is now, we can sit in the room now. Just talking. Talk for... Five eyes, my don't darling. Stop. Mm. My darling, if God gives you the man and if God <laughs> gives you the woman, it's so beautiful. Oh, yes. You can chat, you can be friends. Um, oh my God. So, so on the 26th, mm -hmm. I went out, I went to a shy man and I said, God, I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. Today I want to give my wife to be. I want to engage her. I want to give her a ring. So I went to one of these. Uh, jewelry Shop. shops mm. and I told them that I'm looking for a silver ring Wow uh, I don't know her finger size okay but I'll find out so I just asked the Holy Spirit just show me what I wanted and then the lady gave me one and I just picked it so we came we ate or we had I made her feel very good at the mall yes and i said i was going to the washroom so she said she was going to visit the washroom i said okay you go and come she didn't know there was a coup behind wow me. 
So when she came, before she sat, I, I don't know how, but God did it beautifully. People were trooping into the mall. And we were, we were just closer to where everybody could see everything. Wow. So I just stepped out, stepped out, just got up as she was hey. about to sit down. Please be teaching some men. I, Chief Appel doesn't my, know this. And I, said, <laughs> I asked her, will you marry me? Wow. I, I, I don't need to speak any vocabulary again. Wow. Because I've already set the tone ready for me. And she burst out into tears. You were crying. I was crying. Because people were looking at Everybody me. Everybody was looking and at me. I was like, I didn't know whether to reject it or <laughs> to accept it. I was just confused. Yes. You were so, crying. Yes. You didn't know if it was tears of joy? Yes, or... I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. So after crying, what did you do? He wiped it himself. <laughs> <laughs> and you said yes? Yes, I said yes. And that was just one month after meeting? Yes. And both of you were so sure that yes. the two of you were meant to be. Yes. Mommy, interesting. That's yeah. a beautiful love story. I have story. been a very, very beautiful love I, story. I have experienced long relationships. Love brood in, in WMG. Port. No, no, no. That's why it's not African port. Ah. WMG camp. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, wow. I, in, I could be in a relationship like five, ten, six years. Yeah. Even in that relationship. She knows I've spoken to her about it. But... At the end of the day, it just... So I asked myself, is there a need for that lengthy kind of relationship? Courtship, 10 years. Courtship, courtship, 10 years. And whatever, because yeah. the fact of the matter is that the marriage itself is life. Yeah. So you are now starting life. You are going to begin like a child, okay. grow into adolescence, wow. into adulthood. Wow. And then, so it is a matter of making up... When we were having our... Um, um, Counseling, okay. Um, Reverend Am uh, Derek Amano, okay. Uh, Reverend uh, Mrs. Mama Stella, Dana. okay. They were the ones who counseled that. One of the things I took from them is that marriage is work. Wow. So it is not about the affection you have. Okay. You can have that affection, but affection cannot carry you through the journey. Okay. You need. You need to, to work, work at on it. Certain things, mommy. I I virtually see myself praying. God help me to love my wife. Wow. Because as human as I am, mm -hmm. I may not be able to fulfill that level of love that Christ has given to the church. So I'll have to download his love to be able to show it to him. And Pastor Prince, um, yes, one of the things wow. you said was, the more you prayed with her, mm. the more you discovered yeah. you were falling in love. That so was the point. Yeah. Yes. I, I realized that. Mommy, I could call her, we'll pray for three hours. Mm. On phone. Oh, yes. <laughs> So I knew that I was... What, 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 wasn't it boring to you at the time? <laughs> yes, mommy. It was, to me, it was boring. It was I boring. Yeah. I, I wanted somebody who is more spiritual into the things of God and all that. Very prayerful. I see him every year at camp on the platform, okay. intercession and okay. all that. But I didn't know we could, you know. So I wanted somebody like that. But at the end of the day, I was like... Ah. Ah. So this man, anytime he calls me, it's prayer. prayer. <laughs> anytime he calls me, it's prayer. Hasn't he seen mommy and daddy even on the platform? So mommy, that was so, what I wanted to diffuse. And I started taking her out. Because from the beginning... No, but if you are listening to me, my darling, yeah. I tell people, between Apostle General and myself, Pastor Chief Ape, yes, we invested prayer. Yeah. The generation today are thinking about films mm. are thinking about going to the beach mm. they are having sex outing, outing. changing phones changing phones mm. building houses for each other following episodes and seasons, <laughs> following episodes and seasons. <laughs> my darling yeah. invest prayer yeah i always say that legon chapel a legon hall knows me mm. and knows apostle general yeah. Because we invested a lot and a lot of prayer into our relationship. No wonder we've come this far, 35 years. Wow. Yes, yes. Mommy. And I see you going beyond 35 years. Amen. Yes. Mommy, this year my parents will be 40, 40 years, years in marriage. Wow. You see? Your parents? Yes. Biological, biological parents. parents? Yes. If, you, if, your, if your parents are 40 years I, in marriage, you can't task. fail. <laughs> We can't. You can't fail. It's a social contract. Yes. 
social work. So, so Messi, it was too much for you. It wasn't like too much for but me. It, but it felt was, a bit boring. boring yeah. Because in the night too, you, <laughs> in the morning, before we wake up, he will call. So at a point in time... So let, let, let me ask you something. Didn't you think he was pretending? Didn't I you ever feel that way? I realized that was him because... He was I genuine. I uh, pitching from the camp. Okay. Every year we go, he's standing mm -hmm. there for intercession. Okay. So I decided to visit him at his branch. Okay. And I realized everything is about him. Like he will pray and pray. So I said, no. I think that is him. That is Even him. Even though I was looking for a man who loves God and prays. But I was also thinking... Are we going to pray? Uh, <laughs> At the point in the time, it was boring. I stopped picking his calls. Uh, <laughs> then Pastor Getty yeah. called me. Ah, my brother said he has been calling you. I'm not picking the calls. I said, oh, it's nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll call him back. I stopped picking his calls. Then I realized he, he was, you know, going down a bit. Even though I love the prayers, but... At least make it lovely. Make it, it uh, balance you know, it. Take me out. But, eh? but, but Pastor Priest, you know? yes, sir. did she tell you this herself, or you picked? You the picked? Signal? No, she never said it to me. So she well, never I said just, anything. I just picked the thing in the, you know, I just picked the thing. I, said, I oh, think it's when I it's stopped become, picking. I think calls. that was when she she stopped picking my call. So I felt no, I think uh, it's an overdose. So let me change the phone. Overdose. Now. Yes. I like so, the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Overdose. I, yes. <laughs> Prescription the, 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 the fact that chloroquine will heat, <laughs> heal your malaria. I think you should take five ah, ah. You will kill yourself. <laughs> you commit suicide. He said something about the characteristics of emotional intelligence. Okay. He said empathy. Okay. And so you must put your 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 situation your, yourself in the in the situation of the person okay how the person is feeling okay and then adjust and suit the person okay so at this time i realized okay i think the prayer is not going with her so now let me please her let me take her out. wow let me see what she's made up of. wow let, let's have fun okay let, let's talk let's see the world and the beauty so where did you take her where where did he take you after that akramo akramo <laughs> only akramo we were going to akramo akramo yes. akramo hey. you know where to go <laughs> You see, you know I was where coming to go. from uh, Michelle Camp. Uh -huh, so we have to meet we, at a we, place. We have to be strategic okay. so that I also don't overspend. Okay. And she will also not over. It's and then the gym. Okay. Uh -huh. And she couldn't, I wouldn't allow her to come to my place. Okay. I would rather do the, wow. the journey. Wow. So she's at Butchie. Let me trek, let me walk to uh, wherever I'll meet mm -hmm. her. So that going, she should go and mm -hmm. be sleeping whilst I do my business. Uh, walking home or journeying home. So that has been there. Were you ever tempted to have sex? Yes. Yes, I'll mommy. Say the truth. Yes. Wow. We were tempted, yes. but at a point in time, <laughs> he will remember AG and he will come back <laughs> to himself. <laughs> I'll remember you and I say, hey, is <laughs> mommy that <laughs> connected us? So, you don't know. So it was there. I wouldn't sit on the TV to pretend. Okay. Yeah, we were tempted. But we, any time it comes in mind, yeah. we remember you first, yeah. and then daddy, and we are like, hey, we can't fail. Yeah. If we fail, and one day mommy invites us, what are you going to say? Wow, little so did you know I was going to invite yes, you. Yes, we never knew we would get here. Yeah. Mommy, God bless you. God bless you so much. We never knew we would get here. It was, it was yes. so beautiful. So now, let's talk about marriage. Yes. You meet a stranger. As a speed date, you didn't know what marriage was going to be like with her. Yeah. You didn't know how marriage was going to be like yeah. with him. Now, first day of marriage, you have wedding. I don't know whether you went for honeymoon. I don't know. Then all of a sudden, you realize that the stranger has become my husband. The stranger has become my wife. How was it like? the first few weeks or months into the marriage okay mommy uh, <coughs> the, the marriage itself mm -hmm. the, let me not use the marriage the okay. wedding itself okay what god did i don't want to say much about it but wow. god showed himself strong. wow god yeah. mommy at a point in time i think three weeks 
to the wedding, whilst cats had already gone, I was I was with my guy doing the. Uh, actually, I organized the wedding myself. I'm an event planner. Wow, and, and so a teacher. I did, yes, please. <laughs> so uh, I did it myself with the help of Pastor Getty mm -hmm. and her team. So I was with my friend working on the program. Then around 10, 10 50, mm -hmm. then she called me. She said, uh, Honey, Hey. Yes, that's how. We, uh, you've not gone see, to the altar. You, you haven't know. gone to the altar. She was calling you honey <laughs> already. When, when I proposed to her, those were some of the things we had discussed. Okay. So how are we going to call? I was a perfect name. Wow. You know, we, we, we wanted to be so real. real. Wow. Rather than being, you know, rigid and how we, we settled. So a before lot of before we even go into the wedding, what you were, did you have enough time to build your relationship, to build your friendship? Yes, mommy. Because you met in July, July, July yes. the following year, April. 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 We even wanted to have the wedding in December, and wow. you cancelled us. And you said, yeah, no, let's do it in the first quarter. quarter of the year. Wow. We were, we were in a hurry wow. to get married. By, by December, did you think you knew each other well enough? I believe so, because, okay. Mommy, I have heard several couples talk about I mean, they've entered into marriage 50 years, and they are saying, ah, I didn't know this was how you mm -hmm. were. So I had a notion that you don't need that long stretch. Long yeah. okay. stretch, no. Okay. But the commitment in the relationship, okay. commitment okay. to make it work, mm. is what is vital, mm. what is needed. Mm. So for me, I had made up my mind mm -hmm. that I was going into it. Mm. So with this mindset, three weeks to the time she called me, mm -hmm. he said, I'm no longer interested. Oh my! So <laughs> I didn't foresee this coming. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, mommy. I think I was a bit I, scared. Oh, 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 like, hold on, hold on. I like doing this. I like. Doing wow. This. At this point, mommy, I'll keep our listeners in uh, suspense once again. I know they are going to be hating me, but we'll go for another quick break, and we'll be back to hear why she oh, wasn't Jesus. interested and how Prince took this message. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. It's exciting in the studio. It's getting here. very interesting. A lot of suspense. Ready for marriage. Had a wonderful time dating. Several confirmations of they have who prayed. the person is. We have prayed. We've had excitement. The shock of asking the spirit to even calm you down because of what you have seen visually. <laughs> and then three weeks to walking down the aisle, yeah. she calls on phone and says, I am no more interested in the marriage. Yeah. What drove her to this decision? How did he take it? How did they mend it if they did? And how did they come this far? I take you back to the studios again here with Mama Rita and her wonderful couple, Pastor Prince, Tanyebe, and wife, Mrs. Tanyebe. So, Pastor Prince, <laughs> before we went on the commercial break, yes. you were telling us yes. three weeks into the wedding, exactly. she calls you she called. and says what? She says, oh, honey, and even calls you honey too. Yes. The annoying <laughs> one. It, it's like preparing a, a, eh? a far for when, when she said honey, I was expecting, you know, oh, yeah. something. You. Uh -huh. Then she released the bombshell. It says, How did she, uh -huh. she says, I'm no longer, I don't think I'm interested again. That was the statement she made. I don't think I'm interested again. in marriage again. And I said, he, her, her family witches. Hmm. I didn't even return. I didn't say anything. I just wow. Up. Mommy, guess what? The, the, you the didn't say anything oh, to I her. I didn't say anything to her. You just the hung up. The son of the Apostle General That's in me right. rose up. The lion of the tribe of Judah in hey. me rose up. 
I just got up, told my friend that, uh, Charles, um, I'm going to Ashali Boche, 10.55. PM? Yeah. I'm going to Ashali Boche. He said, ah, but Prince, what would you do? Charlie, it's late. I said, Masa, forget. Me, I could ride bicycle from Ho what to Accra. Uh, sorry, motorbike from Ho to Accra. So I'm not somebody that is afraid of night. So just relax. And I didn't tell them what happened, what the issue was. Wow. So I got to um, a shaman speaker. And I believe at this time, <laughs> you had started preparing your Mommy, suit. We had almost every, uh, everything. Her <laughs> gown, food. <laughs> Invites her out. So oh, everything everything has gone in three mm -hmm. weeks. So I took a public transport. So by the time I got there, I got there almost 11 50 there about, mm -hmm. about one hour journey. So I got there. So what, on the way to her, how, for, uh, to her house, I called. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you? Said she's inside. I said, okay, I'm here. <laughs> Open the, 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 the door. He said, ah, you are where? I said, I said, I'm here. He said, ah, are you sure? I said, you just come out. So she came out and opened the door. Mommy, I didn't, no pleasantries, no greeting. I said, ah, are you, wh repeat what you told me on the phone. Wow. <laughs> repeat what you told me. Uh, then now you realize she's scared. Mm -hmm. uh, me, this marriage, me, I don't know. I said, look, if you dare, you will be mad on, on the, the streets, streets of Accra. Of Accra. <laughs> 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 At this point, I'm scared Mommy. for her past. <laughs> Mommy, uh, I, when I finished this statement and had left, I when I came back to my sense, I you said, myself, "What did you say? Uh, what did I say? You are a gentleman. Why, why would you do that?" No, but, so I realized but, that. But hold on, hold on there. That statement, or even did it scare you? That, did you feel threatened by it? I felt maybe. Because I, I am about to waste his time, that's why he made such. A but you, you knew he wasn't no, serious about I, it. I know him. I know Pastor him. Pastor Chief nice recently, guy. yes, mommy. One of my friends, one of the six sisters, okay, said, "Do you remember what you said to me, um, when you and Apostle General were going out?" I said, "No." She said, "One day you came to me. We used to call him Brola. Say Pat. Say Brola name." No wasting my time. No <laughs> kuno. <laughs> I said, you mean I said that so to you? Yeah. She basically were telling her that if brother Ankara then <laughs> decides to break your heart, I will kill him. He's a I will kill him. <laughs> in in Reverend Kiss language, he's a bonner. I said, you mean I said this to you? Yeah. Wow. She said, you did. <clears throat> I said, so wh weren't you scared? He said, no, I wasn't. But I knew there was no way you could do anything yeah. like that but i could tell how serious yeah. you were about the relationship yes. Yes. and it was like there was no turning back wow. if he does waste i said wow yes. so when he said that you were not scared no because i know him i know he's a nice guy he's a didn't gentleman. you think he was cursing you or something no i was rather thinking because i'm about to waste his time mm -hmm. that's why he made such a statement but I knew that maybe he would come back to apologize. But then at the same time, I was like, what is wrong with me? Okay. Even, and mommy, guess what God did? Yeah. Throughout the three weeks, I didn't know what was going on. After the engagement that I had the ring, that I came back to myself, even the knocking when they came she to do it. didn't know it was. My foster <laughs> father didn't call me to ask me, should we take the things or reject it? Before I came back to the hall, I said, ah, so why are the visitors? He said, they are gone. And I said, so what happened? This so, was the knocking or the engagement? Yeah, the okay. knocking. The knocking. Before, yes. yes, so back to that one. I said, he said, they've gone. And I said, but why didn't you ask me? That moment, I wanted yeah. to tell him not to accept it. Yes. So I said, so why didn't you ask me? So this before? was how many weeks after? That, that, you was, that was That was in first. December. No, it wasn't in December. It was... It, yes, we had the 31st December. It was 1st January. Uh, first January. That's, first when January. That's when they're yeah, knocking. That's when I did yeah, the knocking. Yeah. So I went with my uncle. Uh, he's a reverend minister with a Baptist church. And so he accompanied me there. I had already told him, I told her, we were coming over. I've spoken to the dad, and so all arrangements were set. 
So when we got there, mommy, we didn't waste time. Oh. The, the, the foster father is also a reverend minister. And so when he, we, we, oh, he just said, oh, let's do, we didn't spend two minutes. So mommy, I'm time. trying to link it yes, to please the do. marriage. So he collected it. He didn't call me to find out. I was in the room waiting. You I had dressed up. And tell him that he shouldn't accept when they yeah. call me. Before I realized, they've done it and they are gone. I said, why didn't you call me? He said, no, the Holy Spirit said, I shouldn't call you, I should accept it. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. Back to the engagement. Yes, yeah, so before the engagement, so three weeks before the marriage, yes. you call him to say, so after you left, you went to her house and told her what yeah. your peace of mind that you left. Yeah. What happened? So um, I left that night. Uh, Grace was on my side. I got uh, a tipper track mm -hmm. to return home with. The first time <laughs> ever. <laughs> Mommy told it I did it. So when I got home, the following morning, I think I called her. Okay. And I, I told her that I'm serious with this relationship. So don't, don't break my heart. Mommy, why I went to that extent is I saw glory in this marriage. Okay. I knew where I was coming from, and I knew where God is about to take me to. Because so you knew it was the devil at work? Yes. From the onset, I knew it was the devil at work. But did she what? give you any reason? Did she give you any reason? Oh. Because, mommy, when you ask her why, she, she doesn't, doesn't know. have any reason. So I perceived that. No. You didn't have any reason? I didn't have any reason. Sometimes I'll come back to myself, and yeah. I'm like, ah, I'm letting something yeah. slip. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes to... Could so you, I started praying. Could you have been overwhelmed by the speed of things? Do you oh, think Oh, no, so? no, no. I think it's normal. People meet uh, people three months, they get married, six months. So it's normal. It was and normal. I've heard testimonies about those three months, six months. They are 50 years in marriage. They are 40. How so old were, were you at the time? 31. And frankly speaking, people were mocking me too. Yeah. That's 31? Yes. And, I and you just woke boyfriend. up and you said, I don't want the relationship I again. What happened? So, after so you can imagine if you weren't praying with her. Yes. Three hours. Yes. And it was sex. Mm. And it was just mall. <laughs> it was beach. <laughs> it was traveling to Togo. <laughs> it was um, <laughs> taking Uber to Kumasi. <laughs> <laughs> My darling, I, I hope somebody's learning something out of yeah. this. When it comes to marriage, one thing the devil doesn't like is two people coming together yeah. as husband and wife. And what he doesn't even like is inviting God into it yeah. where the marriage will be blessed. I mean, the, the devil hates it. Mm. So whatever he will do to separate you, the quarrels, the uh, misunderstanding, the disagreements, I mean, he will do it. Yeah. Can you imagine they have come this far, three weeks to the marriage, the lady just says no. The man could have also said, yeah, yeah. I'm angry. Yeah. I, you know, yeah, you can go your way. It could have escalated. Yes. It could have been anything. Yes. But he had patience. I don't know. He was praying. He, he was cool. Like, he knew. He called me. He came to me again and said, you are my wife. I won't let you go. Wow. Yes. No matter what you do, I said I will marry you. So a week after, did you feel like going back to him or your mind was made up? Oh, a week after, we started communicating. Okay. We came back like normal. But then you said even on the day of the engagement, yes. everything felt strange. Yeah. I didn't it know wasn't what, normal. I didn't know what was going on. It was after the engagement. We were taking that the... The I ring. saw the ring. Then I asked Mercy. She was my maid of honor. Okay. So I asked her, I said, ah, what just happened? Then my friend wake up. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give you the Wow. <laughs> That's what she said. My she said, my up. friend, wake up. Yeah. 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 Like, we are going to the church premises to do to have the wedding. So was it the same day? Yeah, yes. the same day. In the morning. I'm sure then, you had even huh? waited two, no, three days. Really. You don't give opportunity to the devil. <laughs> you will take everything away from you. Wow. Yes. So, I, but I thank God, mommy. I thank God because... 
No, 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 no. I, I still want to. Yeah. That's what happened, man. After the engagement, you just asked, yeah. what happened? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't even realize didn't a realize. ring was... No, no. I think God, God put me there like that. You have to marry. Because I was, mommy, I was, there is this thing that was going on. People thought if you are not in a relationship, means you will not get married. They think uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, that is all that will lead to marriage. So if you are not in a relationship, it means you will not get married. So at that point in time, I was not in a relationship. And they were, sometimes I'll go and take wedding pictures from the internet. Hey, I wish to wear this. I'll wear this on my wedding day. Then they will start laughing. Like, you, you don't have a boyfriend, so how will you? And the day I got married, those who are in a relationship for five years, for six years, I got married before them. So now, you do the engagement, you wake up. Yes. And your maid of honor says, we are going to the church. Yes, to have the wedding. So during the wedding, how did you feel? I felt good when I saw Reverend <laughs> Boy. Such a contrast. I'm telling you, when I saw him and the place, the setup, I said, wow. Yeah. I felt good. So did you two feel you could have lost it all? Lost it all. Yes, mommy. It was after the wedding that I said, hey, what just happened? What just happened? Sometimes we pray, but you need somebody to also help you in prayer. My darling, you need to wake up from you your sleep. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are making mistakes. Yeah. You've gotten a good lady. You've gotten a good man. And all of a sudden, you are getting confused, my darling. Wake up from your sleep. Mm. And I'm so happy I am hearing this today. Mm. There's some spirit somewhere. I, I believe you don't believe it's a spirit. Yeah. There's something somewhere that doesn't want you to meet, you know, or receive your gold or your diamond. You have diamond, my darling. Mm. What you have that is slipping off your hands is diamond. Mm. Please wake up. So if you are listening to me, all I'm asking for is that courtship is not about sex, it's not about eating, it's not about fanfare. A lot of prayer must go into it. The devil will confuse you. The devil will bring so many things. I mean, they could have both lost it all. Yes. And they won't be on, on Powerline TV no. talking about their story. And mommy, you, you've spoken about the spiritual aspect of it wow. and, and, and how it's relevant to deal with this uh, through prayer. Wow. But there are some who don't have the opportunity of such teaching. Yeah. Um, in psychology, they call this developing cold feet. Okay. Yeah, where just before marriage or before wedding or during the ceremony, sometimes even the day of the wedding, people turn around and say they are no more interested. Yeah. Sometimes because of stress. Uh, because of confusion, because of past troubles. And a lot of times, it is spirituality that they don't even have the opportunity to diagnose. That's why we say, you don't know what is ahead of you. You don't know. Continue to pray in and into your relationship. That's why we did 21 days of yeah. week of the altar. You have no idea what you have prayed into. Wow. You have the opportunity to catch a lot of the sessions which are wow. going to be replayed here on this channel here on this medium well this wow. is powerline tv family life series with mama rita we are live to you on facebook sam crunchy Ankara, live on mama rita um, facebook as well on powerline tv youtube and your favorite tv channel i know our brothers across west africa senegalese yeah excited we, we miss them with you. <laughs> the sierra leoneans Cameroonians, yes, we are celebrating with you. Even the Egyptians, we yeah. know you lost in the final of yeah. AFCON. Oh, we, please, we, please, we, please, we, please. We can take your messages please. as well. Please, please. for the first attack. time, I watch football. Wow. Wow. Uh, Sunday Monday. night. Yes, it's true. I <laughs> watched. Interestingly, she oh, doesn't Senegal. watch football with me. <laughs> By uh, uh, Sunday night. She watched. She <laughs> says, whatever you support, I will support. <laughs> When he says go, I say go. <laughs> <laughs> no, why you did you understand? I don't understand. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, it's well, good. they are all watching oh us. Oh my God! You are welcome. Enjoy the show. I give you back to Mama Rita, our favorite marriage counselor, <laughs> an amazing woman. You know, Sunday. All right, Mama. I'm not a football fan. Okay. But for once, two African countries were playing. Yeah. 
I felt, oh, let me keep Apostle General company and, you know, watch with him. So he wow. was telling me, so this one, this, this one, this, this wow. one, this. So what, what was... And then after everything, and the penalty, you won't believe it. They won't bring me some of the money. But you were shouting and rooting. I was, I was the only shouting. I was praying. Hey. <laughs> that was another level. What's wow. the guy's name with the gray hair? Sadio Mani. Mani. That's the I Liverpool I said, God, guy. <laughs> this is a guy that pays tight to his church. Yeah. Now the final tip yeah. of the game. This is a guy that after he's played, mm. he's made a name. Yeah. Will go to church and yeah. clean the toilets. Yeah. I said, God. This one. This one. <laughs> I said, God, this yeah. one. <laughs> Please, if he's listening to me, hey. or somebody is listening to me, tell him I prayed for him. Mm -hmm. He should bring me money for yeah. City of Silo. <laughs> Pastor Papa has his number. Pastor Papa. <laughs> and I was praying. I mean, wow. Apostle General was my witness. So now, one side wins, mm. one side he's loses. Really, yeah. So for me, initially, I said, oh, but after all, Egypt was second. Yeah. Apostle General said, you don't understand. Yeah, yeah. It's better to be like Ghana mm -hmm. and go, go out <laughs> early. And now you're having fun. <laughs> Have you seen it on social media? <laughs> Somebody has written um, a book. <laughs> Not a book, but, you yeah. know, mm. put it down, reading a book. Yes. <laughs> How to decide not to <laughs> support black stars. <laughs> Now, now so, you can have fun with it. <laughs> so <laughs> Apostle General said, it's better to come out early, early yeah. like Blasters did, yeah. than to go to finals yeah. and, lose. and you don't bring the cup. Yeah. Mm. Even the third place team celebrates more, yes. than, more than the second. Yeah. And I saw something I didn't understand. You know, the medal. Yeah. Yeah. When the medals were given to the Egyptians, they wear it and then yeah. they remove. Yeah. They so I asked an apostle general, why are they removing it? He said, it's like they are, they, they are refusing the second yeah, position. Yeah, yeah. Then after, I saw two groups, mm. tears of joy, yeah. tears of sorrow. Mm. So I said, I have the message. Wow. Then I asked the apostle general, can you imagine what happens in the camp of our enemies, mm. when God gives us a miracle, wow. when God gives us a testimony, mm. the camp of our enemies are crying, my yeah. man, yeah. my darling, mm. this year, mm. to be mourning. There'll be mourning in the camp in of the your name enemies. Of Jesus. Name of Jesus. There'll be sorrow in the. Oh, in the I felt, I felt bad for that guy that plays with Salah. So that's Mohamed Salah. He plays with Sadio Mane. Two people yeah. play international team. At Liverpool. Same group. Yeah. Liverpool. Yes. I'm telling you, I watched it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Daddy must give you a gift for this. He must give yeah, me a gift so for it. <laughs> wow. My darling, you have no idea wow. when we pray, mm. when we worship, yeah. when we praise God, mm. when we go on our knees. Mm. When we mention the name Jesus, Jesus. what happens in the camp of yeah. our enemies? Mm. My darling, stop crying. Mm. As I speak to you now, something is happening in the camp of our enemies. Amen. We are crying for joy yes, because God has vindicated us, Amen. because God has done something for us, Amen. because God has brought us a man, Amen. God has brought us a woman, Amen. God has brought us pregnancy, yes, God has given us a, jo yes, um, a job, and then on the other side of life, mm. we don't mm. see it, yeah. but this is what happens. Mm. Oh my God. And, and mommy, relating it to her story, mm. three weeks to time, when she was going through this unsettling this confusion i'm sure the camp of them the, was they, they, they were celebrating now, rejoicing when the wedding happened oh and she was going to a honeymoon they were crying the mama was happening over there. <laughs> oh my god pastor prince mommy he has been through a lot of <laughs> you won the battle yes yes now yes. before we close the curtain 
tell us what is marriage like. Do you think that you indeed found your bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh? Mm. How has marriage been like for the two of you? Mommy, thank you once more. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but marriage has been, I think, the best thing that has happened to me in this season. Wow. Yes. I, the reason why now I can confidently say, say I found a bo the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh is that moment. After we got married, mm -hmm. then I became a pastor. The role she played, the encouragement she gave me, wow. the support she gave me, wow. the prayers. <coughs> Mommy, sometimes I sleep and she's praying. She's praying? praying. She's praying the three hours more than oh. you are now. <laughs> Mommy, yesterday night. Wow. Yesterday night. Whilst I was praying, I was sleeping. I was hearing. I said, so I woke up. What was going on? So, don't worry, you sleep. So, I had to return to sleep. Wow. While she was praying. Wow. She has been... A virtuous woman yes. was praying. Yes, mommy. Sometimes I say... One um, statement I always make. When people see me now, uh, especially the ladies, and they look at a fine gentleman, and, they, and I ask them this question. Can you stay with me? The way you people are looking at me, handsome, whatever, can you be able to stay with me? Yeah. Can you fight the pa battles with me? She has stood with me Amen. in prayer, Amen. in times of pain. Amen. And mommy, marriage has been, as it is, I would say good. Wow. There are ups and downs. Certainly. But yeah. then, good. as long as you made up your mind that this is where you are going, when I was getting, when I told my mommy about it, my mommy was initially apprehensive. She was like, ah, ah but I thought you, there are good ever women you could marry from. You wow. decided to go to a fancy land. Wow. Do you know that place? Have you been there? <laughs> Did you send messengers there? Have you checked? <laughs> I said, mommy, you don't need to send anybody. They, I've done background the, the, the spirit wow. can go and do the I have, for you. I have <laughs> done a lot of things wow. that you are sitting there you don't wow. know about. Interesting. Mommy, I told my mom that language is not a barrier it's to us. It's not a barrier. No, 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 it's not a barrier. Tribe is I, not I'm, a I speak yeah. ever. She's a fancy. Today, I'll be there and I'll be preaching in Chi. Wow. And she'll be like, hey, this is your Chi there. I said, don't worry. As long as the people can understand <laughs> or can get the concept of what I'm saying, it's fine. Mommy, I've wow. become who I am. Wow. She's pushing me. Wow. She wants me to succeed. Wow. And mommy... I, I want to say this, mommy. Um, today, by the grace of God, I've also enrolled to the University of Ghana, wow. uh, reading public administration, awesome. because that was her alma mater, or that's wow. her alma mater. And my wow. wife will never allow me to sleep. Wow. She says, honey, all other universities are others. <laughs> leg. The one <laughs> you will let that slip. You continue your story. Just continue. <laughs> Where you are going. So, mommy, that's how it has been. <laughs> she has been a solid role. So, you were you were in University of Ghana. Yeah. Yes, please. What did you read? Psychology combined with sociology. First degree. Yes, please. When he, he came, did he have a first degree? He want to have a diploma. My darling, <laughs> <laughs> marriage. I I believe in being on the social ladder. But when it's not too um, second degree and SSS or second degree and JSS, diploma, first degree, you can always work it out. You can always encourage the man. You can always encourage the woman. Today, here she is. She has a first degree from our premier university. The man has gone back to school also doing a degree great story wow <laughs> what is marriage like for you it's beautiful wow i think you i missed it wow 
I would have been a fool. Wow. Yes, it's beautiful. Wow. And God gave me the best wow. that I didn't know. Wow. He is like a father, he's like a mother, he's like a sister. Wow. He's everything. Wow. I, I'll be cooking and he's washing. Wow. I mean, sometimes I look at Please, him. Please, there's a man around you. Ask him if he's been doing the same. <laughs> You've been cooking and... He's, He's been washing, washing. Uh, yeah. uh, with washing <laughs> machine or with hands. With hands. Okay. Okay. Washing. Washing too. We scrap. Oh. So he wouldn't <laughs> want you to burden yourself with wow. everything. He helps wow. in many ways. Wow. And the love alone. Wow. And sometimes I look at him and I say, ah, is this thing natural? Wow. Like, I didn't know <laughs> love is beautiful like that. Wow. <laughs> And he can't be pretending I, for four years. Oh, no, 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 no. I realize it's no. like that. Yeah. Wow. It's like that. Wow. So I said, hey, so I could have missed this. Wow. What was happening? Wow. It's, it's God. Marriage is beautiful. Wow. And I want to encourage people that they yeah. should come for this program. Wow. Because the oil upon the life of our mother, yeah. the grace upon her life, will connect you to me. Yes. And, and that's the singles yes. fun night yes. with Mama Rita. She's yes. talking about the singles fun night. The and it's shoot. happening on February 14, 6 p.m. sharp here at Royal House Chapel, Ahimfie, with Mama Rita. It's going to be exciting. There are going to be deep teachings. So it's going to be a night of teaching, a night of fun, a night of connection, a night of bonding. You don't want to miss it. Please call the number or send a message to the number on your screen plus two three three two zero zero five one five two five three and get into the registration for the program this is family life series over to you mama rita let me ask you this last question before we bring the curtain down you've been married for almost four years yes ma'am there's been no issue do you ever think about it and think you made a mistake in the choice of a husband and in the choice of a wife. Mommy, let me say okay. that I, I haven't regretted. Okay. Yes. I've always known that when God has purposed something for you, okay. he comes through when he wants to come through. Okay. I, I, have, I don't have any problem with that. I rather encourage her. Okay. You know, as a woman, she would always come, oh, I need this thing. But interestingly, I have no issue from my, from my parents' side. Okay. That's surprising. I, I told her that they know the kind of person I am. And I am an individual on my own. And so you can't come and push me here, here and there in my own marriage. I told my mom that in your marriage, you were you were the sole owner of the marriage. So you have also given birth to a son. And so believe that that same grace is with your son. And so trust that what your son is doing is doing the right thing. Mommy, I've told her she should get prepared for twins. She shouldn't be, she shouldn't worry. God's time yes, is God the is best. best. You don't know what God is preparing down. Yeah. You don't know why he has decided that, okay, you just wait a little. He's preparing a bigger meal for us. So for me... Mercy. Yes, ma'am. Do you get too worried? Do you ever think that you made a mistake? Because people go into marriage and sometimes the first week, the first month, they are pregnant. And it's almost four years. Do you, do you think I... that maybe if you had gotten married to somebody else, you would have been pregnant by now and you would have had a child by now? I think the person who counseled us, they did very well. Thank Reverend God. Derek and Mama Della. Okay. They made me understand that uh, childbearing is part of the marriage. Okay. It is not, you are not going into it because you want to give birth. Okay. If that's the situation, then go get someone else and just give birth. Okay. But childbearing is part of the marriage. It's only a part of it's, it. It's, it's only, only a part, part of, of it. The yes. yes. And okay. initially we planned, when I was working at the bank, yeah. we planned that, okay, after two years, yes. we will, you know, have uh, an issue. 
But then, after I quit, I realized it was eating into third and then now to fourth. But surprisingly, his families don't call me. Why are you not giving Pregnant, birth? Never. Give us our, our grandchild. No, 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 no. The mom will only call me and encourage me. Okay. But don't worry. At the right time, it will be done. And I think I'm blessed. Amen. They've never worried me. Get ready. Amen. Give, give your in-laws a shout out. Give your in-laws <laughs> a shout out. out. <laughs> Get ready. Your miracle is coming. Amen. Amen. So somebody is listening to you. I just want you to counsel somebody whilst we call it a night. All right. So I just want to encourage you wherever you are that before you were a clot of blood I in like your mom's that. womb, I like that. the Lord knew you. He mm. knew your name. Mm. He had sanctified you mm. and made you a prophet unto the nations. Mm. In other words, he has an assignment for you. Mm. And one of the assignments that God has for us is for us to be united with a solid partner. Mm. Don't be in a rush. Mm. Wait under the umbrella of God. Mm. God will bring you a help meet. Mm. Don't go looking for help meet outside the jurisdiction of God. I like that. Because it is God that gives. Mm. Don't go and be thinking of any other thing. Remain under this umbrella of Royal House. Mm. If you are not in Royal House, you want to pitch camp with us. Mm. If, if you don't have any place of service, a worship, you want to pitch camp with Royal House. If you have any place you worship with, stay. Mm. And let this altar of Royal House speak for you. Amen. This year, single summit. Don't miss it because that was where our story began from. I like that. Don't miss it. Amen. And I prophesy over your life Amen. that as you take that first step, Amen. the Lord will finish it up for you. Amen. May the Lord bless you Amen. and favor you. Amen. 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 Mercy. Yes, mommy. I also want to encourage you. Don't look down upon yourself. Mm. From the beginning, that has been my story. Mm. I thought I can never marry, mm. but the Lord came through for me. Amen. Just keep on praying. Amen. Pray the prayer that the Lord should divinely connect you to your Amen. partner, wherever he is Amen. or wherever she is. Amen. The Lord will make a way for you. Amen. Don't give up. Don't listen to people if you know the people around you always discourage you mm. because you are at the age of 40, because you are 43, because you are 37 mm. or whatever. Please withdraw from them like that. because they don't encourage you. Mm. And get closer to people that will give you the word of God. Mm. People that will make you feel that it is not too late. Mm. Keep on praying Keep on and praying. the Lord will make a way for you. Amen. You are blessed and highly favored. Amen. 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 Make a date with me on the 14th of February when the world is celebrating Valentine's Day. My darling, we are celebrating Valentine's Day in church. I am meeting singles from the ages of 21 to 40. Maybe there'll be another speed date. Maybe the Holy Ghost might direct you to somebody. Maybe you might meet two angels that will say, go back. <laughs> Your husband is in the tent <laughs> waiting for you. Maybe the woman you've also been looking at and staring mm. and eyeing will tell you, mm. go and do the speed date. I wish you well. I will meet you on the 14th of February. And whatever happens on the 14th of February, we will show it um, on Wednesday during family life. I trust God that anybody that is waiting and anybody that has waited, waiting patiently for a wife and waiting patiently for a husband, on the 14th, the Lord will smile at you. Until then, take good care of yourself. Make yourself happy. Fall in love with Jesus. Continue praying. And the testimony of 
Pastor Prince and Messi will be your story. Good night from the studio of Power Line. I say we wish you well. God bless you.